Anne Hines didn't expect to break any records when she came to play basketball at Gettysburg College, and she certainly wouldn't have expected to gain entrance into the Hall of Athletic Honor. But the basketball standout accomplished both in an outstanding career on the hardwood. Coming out of perennial state title contender Altoona High School, Hines was an average scorer and had never taken a single three-point shot. But it didn't take long to see the 5'9 forward had potential. In her third collegiate contest, she dropped 20 points in Susquehanna. She also pulled down 11 rebounds, marking the first of a school record. Broke her time 42 double-doubles. This was Hines Forte as she scored in double figures in 15 of the final 16 games during her freshman season. She finished as the team leader in scoring with 14 points per game and led the squad with over 9 rebounds per game. Heim Starr continued to rise in her follow-up season. She averaged a double-double on the year with over 14 points and 10 rebounds per game. In her fourth game of the year, she posted 19 points and 20 rebounds as Gettysburg knocked off rival Ursinus. She received her first postseason accolade as an All-Centennial Conference second team selection. The 1994-95 campaign proved to be one of the most successful in school history. Teaming with Kelly Geis and Maureen Andrews, she helped Gettysburg to just its second 20-win season in the program's history. The team finished 20-5 and, and ranked 13th in the final regular season poll. The record was good enough to get the Bullets into the NCAA tournament for the third time in school history. In the NCAAs, Gettysburg drew the top-ranked team in the region in the University of Scranton. Despite a 14-2 run by the Lady Royals to start the game, the Bullets came out on top as Himes pumped in 15 for 23 points in the second half alone. Gettysburg's run came to an end in the next round, but not without Himes turning in another double-double. She finished as the team leader with a career-high 17.5 points per game and was tabbed All-CC second team once again. Himes soldiered on during her senior year with both Geis and Andrews lost to graduation, but she wrote the same script as she led the team in scoring and rebounding once again, averaging over 15 points and 9 rebounds. She concluded her career by smashing records in her final three outings, with 21 points and 16 boards against Dickinson, she became the program's all-time leader in rebounds, finishing with 905. In the next game, she set an arena record at McDaniel with 37 points, marking the second highest total in school history. In her collegiate finale, Himes finished with a pair of three-pointers to become the program's all-time leading scorer with 1,462 points. She was named All-Conference Second Team and was honored as an All-American by D3 News. After graduating with a degree in management in 1996, Himes worked in accounting and insurance before the birth of her first child with Andrew Wadel. She's now a stay-at-home mom with her three children. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce Anne Himes Wadel. First of all, I'd like to thank the Orange and Blue Cloud for this honor. It really has been a pleasure this whole entire time. You know, tonight just kind of tops it all off. Um, I'd also like to congratulate the other inductees. Um, you know, it's an honor and a privilege to be considered in the same company as all these other athletes who have accomplished such great things. Since receiving the letter in the mail saying that I was to be inducted to the Hall of Athletic Honor, um, I've gotten, you know, I've been able to reflect on my time at Gettysburg and, um, you know, thought about what Gettysburg has meant to me. I came from a good basketball program, and when it came, to, it came time to selecting a college, I knew I wanted to play basketball. Um, little did I know how perfect of a fit Gettysburg College would be. At Gettysburg, I was blessed to have great teammates and great coaches. It's kind of cliche, but there really is no I in team. It was only through the support of those around me that I was able to have the success that I did. I have to thank my mom and my family for all of their support. <laughs> um, as the baby of the family, I was able to follow um, and learn from my brothers and my sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
my family has taught me the, the value of hard work and, and persistence. Um, they also showed me their support by coming to any games that they were able to, to come to. Coach Kirkpatrick, um, thank you for all the lessons that you have taught. I feel like you allowed me to improve my game and gave me the confidence in my shooting ability. You allowed me to grow as a ba basketball player. I will always remember um, and appreciate the, the sweatpants during practice, uh, the sweet 16s in the corners, and your patience in dealing with a group of women, some of whom can be stubborn at, at times. Uh, thank you for pushing us and making us better, smarter players. To my teammates, I'm thankful for the connection that I feel we will always have. Um, one of my teammates um, is here tonight, Kelly Geis, who I really, uh, was really surprised and, and happy that she was able to come. Um, thank you for the spaghetti dinners the night before a game, Thanksgiving family dinners at Servo, psych signs and all the hours that we spent together both on and off the court. One of the best things about Gettysburg was getting to know my teammates, Maureen Andrews, Steph, and Jen Dravis. Um, we came from the same area, but it wasn't until coming to Gettysburg that I was able to call in my teammates and, and also my friends. <clears throat> in addition to my teammates, I'd like to thank the people who support Gettysburg Athletics from behind the scenes, the administration, the athletic training staff, sports information, and the equipment room all play an important part I'd like to recognize Kelly Jones for both the work that she does as equipment manager and, and what she, as well as the impact she had on me personally. Um, and fans of, of the women's basketball team. We didn't always have big crowds at the games, but I really appreciate those fans that came and, and supported us regularly. Um, thank you for coming to our games and supporting us. Um, in that category, I feel like I have to mention Mr. and Mrs. Musselman. Um, who have since passed, but were probably the biggest fans while I was here at Gettysburg. Um, they even welcomed us into our home for a lasagna di dinner, which is pretty special, I think. Um, I'm thankful to receive this honor at a time that I can share it with my kids and my husband, Andrew, who I didn't know until after college, but I'm sure that he would have been my biggest and, and loudest fan. Uh, it's been fun to share this experience with my kids who know me as their mom, but now can appreciate this other part of me. Um, although my youngest Paul told me that yesterday that <laughs> he was hoping that I won today, thinking that I was playing a basketball game. <laughs> There's no basketball today, but, but I think that I did win. <laughs> um, it's been a privilege to play for Gettysburg. I'm a big believer of the Division Three experience. I'm, I'm always trying to talk it up to, to people who are looking for schools. Um, you know, being able to fulfill that part of you who that wants to continue being an athlete and participate in a team sport, um, but also, you know, go and, and, and get a great education. And so, thank you everybody. Go Bullets.